my name is Asia. I'm also known as Asia May on YouTube and Instagram and pretty much everywhere else on the internet. I encourage women to embrace who they are and to be bold in their hair, makeup, and lifestyle. And right now, I'm located in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> So when it comes to my natural hair journey, I haven't always been natural. Natural hair was not something that I was taught or that I was even familiar with. It was really foreign to me. I had a lot of texture envy because my hair is coarser. I have really kinky coily hair, which I love now, but in the beginning, I really struggled with it. So education was a big part for me to learn how um, to do my hair and to become comfortable. So for me, that knowledge started with YouTube. YouTube was the go-to for natural hair care um, for me and also Google, um, doing my research in that way. Uh, my mom, she kind of like threw me out there when it came to my hair. Uh, so when I was 12, a salon owner noticed my hair. She was like, oh, wow, you're really good at braiding and she kind of took me under her wing and I would work with her basically um, every Saturday so I was able to gain that training from an actual professional and that really helped me over the hump when I was learning my hair and just trying to get comfortable with my look. So the first time I shopped at Sally Beauty was actually in college and I was on the college budget, okay? So Sally Beauty would always have sales and that's what attracted me to Sally Beauty because I could get my favorite products, which was a co-wash at the time by As I Am, and it was only $5. And I was like, that's my language. And I would just go shop the sale every time, rack up and stack up. And one of the associates told me to sign up for the rewards program. So I did that, of course and it eventually evolved into me purchasing hot tools and Sally Beauty becoming my go-to for hot tools. So I was that girl who literally was in the bathroom doing my hair and talking to the mirror. And all I wanted to do was just share my hair care journey because for me, one of the biggest things that helped me embrace my hair was finding someone who had hair exactly like mine. Like I needed to see it. I needed to see what she was doing, how she was styling it. It was really important to me. And when I found that woman, I was just like, okay, I feel equipped now. And I wanted to be that for somebody else. I just wanted to show that no matter what length of hair, no matter what texture, it's beautiful. You can embrace it, you can rock it. And girl, there's things you can do with it. So I just give creative tutorials. I also answer questions like they're my family because I believe that knowledge is power. So I like to just share all that I know. Like even though they have hair goals, just embracing where you are now. So on my platform, I dedicate all of my content to sparking that inspiration, challenging women to embrace where they are right now in the most creative and genuine ways. That's part of my mission too as a YouTuber, as an Instagrammer, and even as a friend. I make sure that I'm encouraging other people to embrace who they are and to be bold. And I think it starts with knowledge, right? Understanding how to take care of your hair, understanding what products it needs. Go on your natural hair journey. You're going to have some hiccups. You're going to have some hard spots. But as long as you just continue to be on a mission to embrace your hair, you'll learn it and it'll love you right back.